Well, as usual, I have a tendency to mess up sometimes. Um, this isn't a big mess up. So this quest is called Free Trade. It's given to us by Thancred, and it is in this this new land we have encountered, which is a lot of like red dirt, red rocks. Even the amber iguanas are like big red horned iguana things. But free trade. Uh, <clears throat> I take it you're, you're I take it you're seeing what I'm seeing. Finding a village when we're hardly in ten, pa ten paces into the hills is a, is a surprising stroke of luck, especially given our recent fortunes. But you won't hear any complaints from me. Let's see if the folk who live here can tell us uh, what to, do, to, to what to expect from the road ahead. Oh man, I'm struggling already. <sighs> um, so we've come in, we're going like this down slope. Big old amber iguanas. They're red colored with like black stripes. There is a three building town with a regular windmill. So like the kind where the um, the bit that like catches the wind is perpendicular to the ground as a normal windmill kind of looks. And I saw, I saw a an opposite windmill. So where the bits that catch the wind are horizontal to the ground and it spins that way. Um, but the one I can see right now is the regular windmill. I don't know why I'm running and not mounted. <laughs> Ah, that's what she said again. God damn it. I'm so sorry. All right. Oh, hey, we got, uh, not, um, Cobalt. This one is Zun Zun. Z-H-U-N-Z-U-N. Cutscene. I'll try my best to compose myself in a good way to speak if I have to. I probably will. Have to. You sell? No. No, you are no merchant. But then, why do I know your face? Hmm. Oh, I remember. You spent Vobert gold. You're kind of shocked. Such a coin purse, uh, coin purse crack, cracking. You are already a legend among more traders. You're a traveling merchant, then. Can you tell us anything of this village? Thank you. Of course, anything for valued customers. This place is Garrick. Before the flood, it was home to many miners. After, not so many. Now, none. So Master Gengen borrowed the village, made it into a trading post. Very convenient location. In which case, you all must be familiar with the local roads, correct? We're on our way to Nabath Arang ourselves. If we continue south from here, will we have any difficulties reaching it? Oh yes, great difficulty. The flood rent the, rent the stone and crushed the mines surrounding Nabath Arang. Only steep cliffs and collapsed tunnels remain. Oh no... But surely there must be some way. Do you think any of the other Mord might have some sort of hidden route? He thinks for a second. Perhaps, you ask, they tell. Tell for free, even, to friends of our best customer. She gives like a bow curtsy. Hand across the, like, like clenched fist, hand across the chest, and like a, a like one knee bent, head down. Yeah. Wonderful, thank you for your help. Well then, best customer, let's see what information your reputation your reputation buys us. I think I just need to take my time with each word. I want to get them out as if uh, they're saying them, but I don't know the words they're about to say before they pop up on the screen, and my reading comprehension is good, but like, reading out loud is another thing. This is real, R-H-I-L, R-I-L, real, real, the real, real. <laughs> you wish to go to Nabatharang? Hmm. There was a way, once, a gondola down from the cliffs, but it was built uh, for those who had left something behind that they wished to retrieve. Now, there is nothing left, and no one to use it. You may search for it, if you like, but I doubt that its uh, rusted wires would bear your weight. You hastily take down a memo regarding the gondola on a spare scrap of parchment. Okay, that, that little tidbit was useless, but okay. Urian J is talking to Gil Gil, the same... Spelling scheme as before. We have Shulsul or Shulsul. Shulsul. This was the only one that I actually want to pronounce differently. S H U L S U L. Oh, that is a surprise. Not many bound for Nabatharang these days. I do know of a trolley that once went there. 
He used to travel between all, all the settlements and mines of the Hills of Amber. It is locked behind a gate, however. I assume that uh, will have kept it from being stolen or damaged, but it also pre prevents it from being of much use. Take down information, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, again, useless. You don't... Whatever. Number three. Gone, gone. G-H-O-N, G-O-N. He's watching over a pen of a couple, like, rock lizards. Interestingly enough. Frenabath Orang, airship is best. Nothing is faster than an airship. The Yomorans have one, I hear. You can ask them to take you. Again, I take a note, even though it seems pointless to do so. And then Thancred is talking to Ren Ren. Again, same spelling scheme. Ah, oh, mercy. I'm afraid I've learned little of use about how to reach Nabath Rang. The Yumoran the, the presence, though, is that's another matter. Apparently, though their army is def definitely in Amarang, there have been no sightings of Yumorans at all in the, in the Hills of Amber. Perhaps we can take that as a sign that Alice's plan has borne fruit. Did you have any better luck finding us a route forward? Hand over the note concerning the gondola, note concerning the trolley, and note concerning airships. Boom shakalaka. So these those these are our options. Well, what do you think? Hmm. We can try the gondola. Might die, but eh. Or we can get an airship anywhere. Not from Vothri, uh, obviously. Or get aside. The trolley seems most feasible. I admit, I thought the gondola would be the best thing, but. Uh, an airship might not be that bad, especially if we we can get one, we can get from, one from the Crystarium, right? A trolley doesn't seem okay. Can we get an airship anywhere? Not from Vothri, of course. Obviously, very sorry. Hmm. We could perhaps use a morrow, but even from a distance, I can't imagine that the Umoran army wouldn't spot us if we were to travel by air. Oh my God. Okay. We can try the gondola. Might die, but eh. I'd rather not if it's all the same to you. If it went poorly, we couldn't simply wave our hands and vanish into the ether like Yastola. Not that I would recommend it, even if we could. Last stop, fucking option, dude. Just whatever. Gate aside, the trolley seems most feasible. I didn't think so, but okay. It does seem to be the least risky of our options, and I can't imagine one gate is enough to thwart you. I'd like to know a bit more before we dash off in search of it, though. Uh, perhaps Zunzun can offer some insight. Free trade is complete. This video will be complete in a second. The sponsor non-sponsor is Sparkling Ice. 12-pack of 17-ounce bottles. I get the strawberry lemonade, and it's delicious. And it's supposed to be entirely zero carbs. Nothing at all like that. No sugar, blah, blah, blah. And it's, it tastes so good. Um... If you use the link in my description, I think you can purchase any flavor, and I still get a cut. But only purchase it if you're interested in trying. I mean, you can you can go to a local store and buy one bottle for like a dollar, a dollar twenty, whatever it is, at the, depending on where you live, obviously. But um, I hope you enjoy. I will see you next time. Bye.